frozen yogurt chain 16 handles. They're a staple as far as I'm considered if you live or are visiting New York City, but they're doing something that not many in the industry are doing at this time in the midst of the pandemic. They are expanding. So we want to bring in Solomon Choi. He's the CEO of 16 Handles to talk a little bit more about this. And Solomon, your new location is just a few blocks up the road here in Times Square. You now have nine locations in Manhattan. Talk to us just about the decision of why you're expanding right now. Yeah, so first of all, thanks for having me. Um, really excited even just to see this kind of a back mm -hmm. backdrop. Just a few months ago, um, I came out here and it was really empty. And Times Square is our most recent opening. Why we decided to do this, I started this business in 2008. So certainly the last time that we kind of felt a little bit of uncertainty in the economy, what's going on, housing market. Um, but I truly feel that when it comes to these kind of like little moments of luxuries that people are looking for to treat themselves, uh, 16 House is perfect for that. And we started here in New York City. Uh, we want to continue expanding. We actually opened up not one but two locations during the pandemic, also one down uh, in downtown in Tribeca. So we're going long on New York City. Also feel like because of the pandemic, while there were certainly a lot of challenges and things that uh, we wish never happened, mm -hmm. we would have probably never been in, 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 in Times Square. You know, had, had, Why do you say that? Well, you know, I think in looking at the favorable real estate uh, you know, terms that we were able to get for a location here, that happened as a result of just the streets being empty. And so just, again, going long on New York City, long on the brand, um, we may have not had that type of an opportunity otherwise. And what is the traffic like that you are seeing now compared to just a few months ago, not only in your new Times Square location, but what you're seeing throughout the city? So throughout the city, I mean, week over week, we're definitely seeing a lot more traffic. Um, certainly the tourists are, you know, are, are starting to come back, which is nice. Also a lot of residents. You know, our office, our corporate office is on 34th and 5th, just uh, across from the Empire State Building. And so, again, I think being around these New York City landmarks, I've really been able to monitor and see just the uptick in foot traffic for both, you know, local, uh, you know, local tourists, as I like to call them, as well as uh, residential and, and people coming, starting to come back to work. So truly hopeful for just busier New York, New York streets and, and more and more business just as the weeks go by. Well, if today is a sign of what to come, then I think it certainly is a promising outlook here for New York City. Solomon, over the last couple of months, you've expanded your menu. You have a recent partnership with Oatly, and we know some other chains have also taken a similar initiative. Starbucks has a partnership with Oatly. They can keep enough uh, oat milk in their stores in order to keep up with that demand. What drew you to this partnership? Oatly's definitely been a brand, a challenger brand that we've respected and have been monitoring for the last several years. Um, we've been having more of a plant-based initiative with our soft serve offerings. Um, back in 2013, I believe, is when we introduced a soy milk um, soft serve. And since then, looked at other you know, plant-based vegan options just because our approach has been, while you know, we've kind of become somewhat famous in the frozen yogurt category, we do realize that um, having dietary inclusivity for all people to treat themselves is something that we really stand for. And Oatly, we felt like, was a perfect partner when it came to that. Uh, we had actually developed an oat, oat milk soft serve flavor um, at the beginning of 2020, just before the pandemic, and we were starting to see success there. And so when things halted and, you know, uh, some of our stores shut down temporarily, we really thought about who can help us revive not only that messaging of, of plant-based alternative soft serve, but do it in the most meaningful way. And truly felt that there was one of one at that point, really being Oatly. And I think the way that they also brand uh, themselves and really have an unapologetic uh, you know, messaging to, to their guests seem to be in line with kind of the 16 Handles being a New York City brand. And so we felt that there was a lot of alignment there. And Salman, what do you say to some of the critics out there of the frozen yogurt industry saying that there are too many players, it's just a fad, people won't get sick of it in five years from now, it won't be as popular. They've been saying that, though, we should say, for more than five years at this point. Clearly it hasn't come true. Why, what, what do you say to that? I feel like with food and fashion, we go through these cycles. And we're here at the heart of it in New York City. Um, you know, again, I was dealing with this in 2008 when I started the business. Certainly have expanded over the years. Um, you know, I feel like with us, we're a soft serve brand. And that's what I'm saying is we want to really be known for all things customizable and soft serve. And so this partnership with Oatly, I think, really confirms the fact that this isn't just about frozen yogurt or ice cream. It's just really about people being able to treat themselves with the best uh, quality products that are available. So you're opening new locations. You mentioned Times Square. You also have a new location downtown. We've been talking to a few business leaders who are saying one of the big problems, one of the big challenges that they face right now is meeting demand just in terms of employees, getting enough employees through the doors. Are you having any problems just in terms of filling uh, staffing? Staffing, uh, specifically in New York City, has been a challenge. Uh, so certainly no, no different there than a lot of my you know, colleagues uh, who, are, who are restaurateurs. 
again, I think, you know, in looking at what it's going to drive to get these uh, individuals to come in and, and be happy when they work, I mean, that's really going to be the differentiator. You know, one of the things is in New York City, we have some of the highest rents and some of the highest minimum wages in the country. Um, so I think now that employees also feel that really the ball's in their court in terms of where they're going to work, mm -hmm. I think the better brands, the more fun brands to work for are going to certainly have an edge. And I feel that, you know, we're one of those brands. Solomon Choi, great to speak with you. Thanks so much for taking the time. CEO of 16 Handles. And Adam, I have to say, we were just at M&M's World. Now we've been talking about frozen yogurt for a while. Certainly I'm getting pretty hungry down here. I'll send it over to you.